<sighs> Man, that's why I said, or oh, I desire to say, y'all willing when I did say what I said. Mm. Man, there's a lot, you know. So obviously, I know many people probably already sleep. Y'all probably sleep, not, nah, and I'm up, and I'm already. I know. So some of y'all out east. I don't know, man. I wasn't supposed to do no more lives on Instagram, but it's like I just be like I said, y'all willing. If it was in the will of y'all, if it was in the will of uh, the Father, then, then yeah. Um, if it was in His will, I wouldn't have done it. But anyways, man. I just I, I just felt compelled to come out and tell y'all, bro, we don't got as much time as y'all think, you know. Many people believe that they got enough time that they can do whatever they want to do and still chase Jesus after they get done doing what they want to do. Or many people think right now that they got time to lean on emotions, right? We see the world. The world is literally full of wickedness. The world is full of, it's full of uh, depression. Many of us right now, bro, we ain't got no peace. And because we won't do the things that's necessary in order that we might get peace. I'm not going to read no, I'm not reading no questions. I'm not looking at nothing. I ain't, I don't really have a desire right now to interact. I just want to speak from the heart because it's too much talking going and not enough listening to the Holy Spirit. It's a lot of people wanting to listen to their thoughts and ask questions. When sometimes when the Holy Spirit is present, you just want to, you know, do what God said and, you know, um, uh, but you know, be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to wrath, because he said in the multitudes of words, their want is not sin, right? And so, for the women, for the men, right now, bro, it's an urgent time right now that you might want to operate in the will of the Lord, right? It's not being talked about maneuvering in His ways, and it's not. Look, he said the enemy might be in your own household, right? And so that means that you might you might have to leave people behind who you have a carnal love with but many people can't do these things and the messiah told us that if you do not love me more than your mother or your father if you love them more than me you're not worthy of me right and so the messiah also told us and he showed us how he looked at his family and how he looked at us when jesus was in the flesh and they talked about his family he said who is my mother who is my brother but he who will do the will of the father in heaven the same as my mother my brother and my sister and so he said that those who will follow god those are the ones that is his family. Those are the ones that he loved and that he died for and laid his life down for. The sinner that has repented. The sinner that has not repented and continue to follow fear and, and continue to stay docile and following emotions of man. You're not pleasing the spirit of the living God. You're pleasing your flesh because you're more worried about how you are viewed in the eyes of your mother or your father and not viewed in the eyes of, of the messiah who is going to judge you who is the one who truly laid down your life who is your true father amen nobody is talking about this right now and so i'm spiritually moved i'm spiritually compelled and it's because like you could tell nobody is going through the spiritual war because if you were going through the spiritual war you would have something to talk about you would have revelations to get out here through the, the through the hurts and through the pains that you will be able to show the sacrifice you will be able to speak about the sacrifice to help the sheep of god get to god but nobody is talking about the sacrifice because nobody has made the sacrifice. No one can talk about what it is that they don't have. Many people say that they got Christ, but Christ said that many people profess Christ. Many people outerly. He says that many, they draw nigh to me with their lips. They honor me with their tongue. Right? They say his name. They honor him. Glory Jesus with their tongue. But in their hearts is far away from him. In their hearts, you won't do the will of the Lord. You won't leave your mother, your family. You won't leave somebody that is walking in the ways of this world to follow his righteousness. You won't leave your path. You won't leave your path to follow his. That right there shows that you are lukewarm. That fact that you believe Christ, but you have not submitted yourself to his righteousness. So now you're going about to establish another righteousness. Have you found the riches of God? Have you truly found the riches of God? We are hurting. Times without end. I'm broken. Times without end. Just trying to do the will of the Lord. And the enemy is, he's everywhere. And the enemy ain't what you looking at. It's in your mind. The enemy is in me. The enemy is my flesh. He's my thoughts. Because if I can conquer the enemy in my life, then guess what? It don't matter what you do to me. It don't matter what they say to me. It don't matter what the world is doing. Why? Because God loves me. And God, his, his comfort is supposed to be all. That we desire, but right now, because of the ways and the paths of iniquity, because of sin, because of sexual immorality, many of us men, we need to be praying and fasting that God might give us what? A wife. 
And the sad thing is, there's not many wife, there's not many women to that are worthy of being wives. And guess what? There are not many men that are worthy of being wives. And so, yeah, we got to go to God. We got to go to God. Amen. Like, true. And I need a, amen, I need a woman of, 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 of like, what, of, so the thing for a woman, they need a woman that, a man, he needs a one. He needs to feel appreciated, but also we have to be something that y'all feel like that y'all want to appreciate. There's many of us who, since we don't have God, a woman can't love you and follow you. They gonna follow God. They gonna follow Jesus because He was greater than all. Oh, that's a different love when a woman can feel comfort in the fact that it's not about her body. One, she don't even know that it's not about her body. Only when the Spirit of the Living God comes into abandon that He can love the soul of that woman and nurture them, the mind of that woman. Will she understand, man? man this body ain't nothing. I got a man who loved me for me. And he don't love me for what he see. He loved me for the he who he who he hear. That's a spirit. Right, but so there's people out here. Well, the enemy lying on my name. He lying on y'all name for y'all for those who really seeking righteousness and seeking God. Amen. You feel me? Uh, 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 the enemy got contracts out lying, and because this is what happens when you are a woman or a man of God, the enemy he loves to cause confusion in your life, really just to throw you off of your your uh, 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 your walk. He and, and and the father allows it to see what whether or not if you believe. Um, whether or not if you're willing to continue to go through the fire and get these cuts and these bruises in order that you might do what it is to take to get people back out. It, this this is a walk of this is a walk of pain. This is a walk of pain. This is a walk of weeping. This is a walk of mourning. This is a walk of sorrow. But guess what? This is my token of per everlasting life. This is my token of everlasting life that every single day that I wake up, I don't like being in this world. Yes, we are oppressed. The world is free. Money comes from trees. The trees grow naturally. Yes, we are being oppressed. Yes, sexual immorality. I've had many different things. My mother, uh, 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 I, we don't got to go through my whole testimony. Because y'all test. we all got something going, right? But right now in the time, it is time right now to operate in the spirit, to get out of the flesh right now, and to seek the things of God. Because men, they don't love you women. And many women, they need a man of God to actually show them some 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 strengths because women can't be the lead they not called to be the lead but women you supposed to call to follow so you got to find your role in god because if you don't find your role in god then you're gonna you're gonna be operating in the role of satan and your soul your soul your soul is so much more precious than money it's so much more precious than you uh, uh, being haughty and looking good for a certain amount of time in your life your soul is eternal and the enemy won't allow for you to understand the eternal things because he's 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 souring our minds he's souring our souls he's making us unclean with the things that are temporal but the things that are temporal how could you have a man of god that is so strong in the faith that you see that you could try the spirit and you still would you still would stay in a, in a household of enemies that you know don't have the best for your interests. How can nobody is going to hell because God was evil? Y'all rejected God. God, He laid down His life. He laid down His life. He gave everything that we might be able to just follow Him. That we might just be able to seek Him and see the riches in Him. But guess what? Nobody see the riches in Christ. Everybody keep talking about Jesus, but we can tell who is really giving the price. We know when y'all talk about the world, we see y'all grind in the world. We see when you love something in the world, you keep talking about it. You can't stop talking about it. And when you get a gift, you keep putting it on display. We don't see that from the love of God, bro. We don't see that from the love of God. We don't see no true righteousness in the men of God. We don't see true righteousness in women of God. Even though many people know that we are not supposed to be seen doing certain things, many people profess his name and still go out there and do it. Because they did not really submit. Many people were halfway in, halfway out. Many people halfway in, halfway out. But I was reading the Acts yesterday, amen? And um, well, I, I can't remember the dude. It was the two dudes that Acts when Peter, when they came in there and what? They said, you were supposed to sell everything. God wants y'all to sell out. You're supposed to sold everything, but because you didn't, but because you was lukewarm and thought that you was going to lie to the Holy Ghost Spirit, your life shall surely be taken from you. This ain't no game. But everybody gonna play it like a game. Why? Because there are nobody out here speaking truths. When the false prophets get out here, y'all love them. Y'all share all their videos, and then you still do what? You still falling into temptation. You don't even know the way out of. You don't even know a way out. Why? Because wait, what you think is a way out is a snare. This world is a trap, and God told you it's a trap. He told all of us it's a trap. Everybody around sleeping right now, peaceful, but they won't be sleeping peaceful soon to come. 
Soon to come, many people ain't going to be sleeping peaceful. Many people not going to be sleeping peaceful. He said that there shall be no peace to the wicked. What is a wicked man or a wicked woman? Somebody who trusts in the devices of this flesh, who operates off the flesh. And so you move and are manipulated by any communication that come from the devil. So my, you can see the spirit of God operating directly in a man. You got discernment to see the spirit of God operating in this man. You're going to tell me you're going to follow a lie. You're going to follow emotions. You're going to follow the, the devil who plays on emotions. He playing on your heart. And that's what you follow. That's what we follow. This is what we follow. Lies. Guile. Why? Because people have not submitted to the right to the righteousness of God. It's just the truth. We have not submitted ourselves to God. We are acting like we know God. Why? So when somebody can see you, they say, oh, man, he talk about Jesus. You don't live, Jesus. You're lying. He told you to be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Hearers can repeat the word, but can you do the word? The heart is deceitful above all things desperately wicked. And who can know it? And the enemy playing off of that. So he said, keep thy heart with all diligence. The only way that you can keep thy heart with all diligence is daily fasting, is daily studying the word, daily meditating on God's word. Why? Because God has to keep your heart. He told you that um, uh, that he who watches, the, uh, he who keepeth the city, the, no, the, um, the watchman that watches the city. Uh oh, I can't remember it. But he who rides early to watch the city. If the Lord ain't keeping the city, ain't nothing you can do. Right. I can't remember all the scriptures I want to, but I understand it. And there's nothing you can do to save yourself. There's nothing you can do to preserve your life. Jesus told them, um, which of you, uh, 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 um, you know, um, you can't make one hair black or white, which means that you can't bring life in and make a hair black or you can't extend days to life, which is gray hair, white. You can't do nothing. You can't. Many people think because they're going to kill somebody that they killed them. No. God allow for the enemy to use you. You can do nothing. Jesus said that I kill. I quicken it and I make it the lot. Jesus, he will send you with the loot. If you, he will let evil do evil. But don't think that because you did evil, you did something. No, you were used. You were you. Many people are being used. Many people are being used by the enemy. It's just stupidity. Like, it's just some dude riding around on the street, just going like 100 miles per hour. Like 100. What's the purpose? Where you going to? But if you crash, you going somewhere quick and it ain't going to be where you want it to go. This world is evil, bro. And for y'all, ain't nothing funny in the comment sections. There's nothing funny about what's going on in the world today. He said, woe to you who laugh now for you shall cry later. There's nothing funny. The people that laugh, uh, 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 and I don't know what you laughing at. You probably laughing at how I look, but bro, man, ain't nothing funny because it's serious. People's lives are at stake. That man driving 100 miles per hour, if he hit and crashed, it wouldn't be funny. It would be a whoa. See, when people don't know God, it's always something to laugh at. When people ain't really fighting a battle, it's always something to crack a joke on. And that's black people. Hard-headed, stiff neck. Like he chose, he chose black people to run the world. We slaves right now. We slaves in a land not our own. Being oppressed, our women being oppressed, being raped, being kidnapped, we ain't talking about it. We don't talk about the things that actually matters because these false, not just the false prophets, the idols of the world, all of these whoremongers and these whores, right, deceiving us, keeping us so docile, we never fight the enemy. All of these kids are, y'all know it's many, many young women out there right now being sexually abused and they need y'all prayers. There's many young men right now being sexually abused and sex trafficked by the government that y'all trusting in, that the government that's paying y'all celebrities right now. I hate this world and I cannot wait to depart. I cannot wait to depart. No, you say, you know that so, so, so a carnal man gonna say, oh bro, you, you can't wait to leave. If you wanna be here, woe to you. <laughs> if you love your life in a, uh, in, a, in a system of Babylon, woe to you. You trust in oppression. You trust in wickedness. You must have a goal to be an oppressor. You must have a goal to be a wicked man if you love Babylon. If you love this world, if this world is your cup of tea, oh no, the love of God cannot be in you. Because Paul said, because Paul said, um, uh, 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 um, for me to die is gain. He said, I am in a straight betwixt two, wanting to depart and be with Christ. But nevertheless, me being here is more needful for you. Because <laughs> I definitely understand that. I'm in a straight betwixt two. I'm in a straight to be betwixt two. And it's like, look, the enemy, look, don't. 
We got to keep going through. The, the Father said, he who endures to the end, the same shall be saved. So what we going through here right now, we get a reward for everlasting life. The many people going through the same torment, the same pains you going through, the rich people, they going through the same thing, even more because they getting defiled. Their minds are defiled. They have no peace. The things that they are doing behind scenes, the word of God says, it is a shame to speak of the things that they do in private. These people are wicked. They are abominable. They are doing uh, 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 many seances over their music. They are speaking curses. That's why you can still remember a song of voodoo curses speaking over your life from years ago. This world is wicked. No one is talking about it. Why? Because everybody is in the snares of the devil. God said that the S Satan hath deceived the mind of the whole world. And look at the whole world. They acting like they know God. The whole world professing like they know God. People on Facebook and Instagram and everybody lost. Everybody is stuck into everybody in a character that ain't true. Everybody in a character that ain't true. Yeah, you fresh all on Instagram, nigga, but you broke in real life. The hypocrite. We, you look good on Instagram, but then, boy, y'all better act like y'all know something. You better act like you know you faking. You better act like you know you don't got no money. <laughs> it, it be people that's broke But because they got $2,000 that they scammed They gonna act like they, they got more money than me Boy, I got God I got way more money than you And it ain't money It's riches Things that can never be gone Riches can't be taken But the world's riches can And he told you Put not thy trust into uncertain riches Look at us We putting our trust into uncertain riches Women putting their trust into a body that's gonna wither away And never uh, that body waxing old and old and old and old and old and old. That body waxing old. I can't put my trust in this this dead flesh. If I put what what happens if I put my trust in your flesh and then something happens to your flesh? Well, I'm leaving because I, yeah, I'm gonna leave because I ain't come there for your soul. I came there for your body, and whenever that body get to going, well, I'm out because it ain't no natural affection in us. Well, I'm out because I ain't never loved you. I liked what I saw. I loved what I saw. I ain't love you. You the I hate this world, man. Why do I hate the world? Because the world is a trap. And the trap looks so good that many people just continue to go right down the snares of hell. Y'all don't even understand, bro. How God, how, how God gonna choose somebody like me, but he can't choose y'all? Y'all ain't choose God. Because I ain't trying to hear it. I don't have no mother, no father. I've been sexually abused. I've been adopted. I've been through. I, I, I just gotta say, what you been through, I've been through. Ain't no excuses. I'm standing here fighting. So if you crying, being docile, just going to give your life. Yeah, you, you, you might want to rethink because you ain't went through nothing. And, and, and there's somebody out there with a, as bad as I think I had it. I ain't went through nothing. I ain't went through what Job went through. And look, your pain is your pain. Your testimony is your testimony. I'm just telling you that you can keep going. I'm just telling you that you can serve Jesus and be poor. You can serve Jesus to be broken hearted. Why? Because that's the only way you're going to serve Jesus. Broken hearted and poor. <laughs> he said, hath not God chose the poor of this world to be rich in faith and to be heirs of the kingdom to come? Yeah. The many of y'all who don't want to live like that, y'all are on y'all way to the, you are in the snares of the devil. Your mindset is about money. It's about lust. It's about how you can get the things of the pleasures of your flesh here right now. You are on your way to somewhere you will never come back from. Jesus laid down the most riches that he ever did and y'all forsaken him. These people forsaken. How you gonna forsake a righteous man? I thought in my mind, like, it'll be a blessing for any woman to want me. Me? And it's not me that they should want, but the spirit in me. I'm nothing. It's not that, oh, she's looking tomorrow and say he look good. No, but the spirit in me? And you deny that. You won't have the spirit. Many people would allow for fear to keep them away from what God has for them. But what did Abraham do? Man, Abraham did what? He left his he left his father, he left his kinsmen to do what God wanted him to do. Will you do so? Because he said, many of y'all gonna say that y'all are of Abraham. Many of y'all gonna say, I'm I'm Israel. Well, he said, if you were of Abraham, you would have done the work of Abraham. Stop lying to y'all selves, brothers. Wake up. Sisters, wake up. You ain't praying, you ain't fasting, you ain't studying the word. Wake up and start now. Nobody condemning you because who am I to condemn when God woke you up? I condemn you. We condemning lies today. We condemning lukewarmness today. We condemning you believing that you just got to say Jesus name and that's getting you into heaven. We deleting that today because that's a lie. That is a lie. If you think all you got to do is just say Jesus, I love you. Are you making it to heaven? You're a liar. 
and somebody's lying to you, your heart is deceiving you. The false prophets that don't never tell you the judgment of God, the judgment about your thoughts, the judgment about the things that are going on in your mind. It doesn't matter what you say to me, what you look at when you look at me. It matters what you think of me. It matters what you think of the people that Jesus died for. It matters what's going on in your heart when you give that money, what you're supposed to get. It matters if you are even giving at all, right? Yeah, it matters. It matters if you're loving, if you're blessing instead of cursing and forgiving instead of being bitter and holding grudges. It matters because he said to the merciful will be shown mercy. Right. So if I'm not mercy, if I don't have forgiveness, the father not going to forgive me. And there's people out here right now. They are not walking in forgiveness. There's a lot of people professing Christ, but they don't even know what grace is. They will see something about you that they don't like and automatically make a claim on your life to say that you're wicked. Come on, man. That's not a man of God or a woman of God. You are a woman of emotions. You are a man of emotions that if somebody don't stroke your ego, if they don't make you feel good or, or boost you up on a pedestal, you put them low because you are your own God and not God. <laughs> wicked world. Wicked world. Wicked world. A bunch of lukewarm deceived. And it's sad because I can see y'all on the way to hell. I can see you directly. I know you. <laughs> the world. The world on their way to hell because they do not love Jesus. They don't love Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He told you he was the way because you best to follow. Amen? He told you the truth because everything else is a lie except following the way he said. That's the way you get to the last part, life, which is eternal life. Life ain't death. Life ain't living to die. But many of y'all living directly to die. I'm living to live. I'm living to live. I'm dying to live. There you go. Many people living to die, but I'm dying to live. Because you're supposed to be dying to your flesh that you might live in the spirit. But everybody that's living and not dying to the flesh and dying to the things of the world, you want to die in the end. Because he told you. I'm going to give you the script. No man. He said, if any man wants to come after me, he must pick up, take up his cross daily and deny himself. What that mean? That's death to the flesh, death to the desires. Yes. If your desires is it to do the will of the Lord. Well, <laughs> well, I pray for you because hellfire would never go out. Hunger never goes out. Pain never goes out. You probably stay horny and lustful. All the you're going to be everything in hell. You're going to be everything and more so in hell. Y'all think it's a game? Okay, cool. You're going to see that it ain't a game. But when you see that it ain't a game, it ain't going to be like, bro, it ain't going to be like you could get a restart. He said, boy, after a man died, that thing is sealed. That thing is sealed. Quick. Done. You're done up. You done up. I already been to hell. You don't want Brothers, we are already in a form of what hell looked like, but this is the stepping stone. You got hell in heaven here. You best choose. This is the value of decision. You like the world or you like the spirit. You best choose. And I hope you understand which one is the difference of God. Because God is spiritual. Just because you're doing voodoo and messing with tarot cards and astrology don't mean that you're spiritual. Because no man that's spiritual understands that they uh, uh spiritual things and they go play with death. So don't think you're spiritual because you probably could astro project. Oh no, you're going to be astro projecting your way into hell. Because <laughs> people out here doing spiritual things but think that they're spiritual. No, everything we do is spiritual. Let me show you how. Because you have to think everything before you even do it. Spiritual being. Amen? So, just because you're in the spirit don't mean that you understand what you're doing in it. We having sex. We don't know what we're doing. We watching evil communication. We don't know what we're watching. Because if we did, we wouldn't do it. Or we wouldn't watch it. God said the Holy Spirit compares spiritual things with spiritual things guess who got the holy spirit and he only only jesus and you don't you got to get that that's a blessing a promise of god that will come unto the believers that receive the holy ghost spirit guess what it says that if you don't even have the holy spirit you are none of jesus do you know if you have the holy spirit you can understand the word of god you can literally open up the kjv because that's the only word of god if your pastor say that the, uh, the other versions are other uh, they all the same they're liars because if they was all the same why would they have to say new KJV or it wouldn't be different versions of it. If it was the same, it wouldn't be different versions. Yeah. Things that are alike, like and alike are different. But without the Holy Spirit, you can't compare spiritual things. What spiritual things? Words. Do you see my words? 
No. Do you see my words coming out of my mouth, carnal man? No. You, you hear my words, but you can't see nothing. It's spiritual. My, my words is coming from the inner me. The KJV is the only word of God to date that is actually what God wants us to have. But guess what? It's a secret that those who only know God come into. How, Jamal, give them the scripture, please, so that they won't think that you're just talking. The secret, please listen, the secret of the Lord is with them who fear him. And to them he showed a covenant. Didn't King James take something out? King James didn't take out nothing. So first let's talk about it while many people continue to repeat what the world said. King James is a king. Anybody that got any kind of wisdom or understanding, when do a king lift up their finger to do anything? Kings put people on work. They make them, you do it. You do it. Y'all need to be in the word of God to understand that this is God's doing. The KJV Bible is the most known Bible around the whole entire world. Jesus Christ is more famous than his Hebrew name. Why all of these people out here trying to do all this extra? Because they don't got faith in God. They trying to, they trying to, they trying to act like they know something. Many people trying to act like they know something and don't know nothing. So be offended and um, it's because you don't got the truth. God said that everybody that operated in their flesh, when there is no truth present in you, you're going to be offended. So be offended. If that's what it is, because the truth going to offend. Period. I'm not here to please you. I'm here to teach you that you don't know what's best. I don't know what's best for you. I'm speaking the spirit of the living God. I ain't sitting here telling you to go chase your dream, chase your goals. I ain't trying to talk about, man, I'm talking about righteousness. I'm talking about preserving your soul. Nobody want to preserve their soul. People rather preserve flowers. They rather look after their dog. They rather look after the garden rather than look after God's things. Love is a, love is a pleasure rather than love is of God. Evil. I'll be out here preaching to sometime and uh, people in the spirit hop up on me and you just talk to certain, it'll trick them up because they see me and they be talking to me. But then when the spirit hop up, my, what you think about Jesus though, bro? What you think about your life? Do you know where you're going? And people just get to look crazy. They just get to look because they don't believe God. They don't believe God because of the world that the man had. We hate God for what the people y'all love and put y'all trust in for what they, how you go hate God? He's showing you he ain't did nothing to show. And the people that talk, that's why I hate this world. And when I say I hate the world, I hate the imaginations that y'all believe in. I don't hate the flesh. I hate the imaginations that y'all believe in. I hate this system that y'all agree with. I hate the riches of this world that took away our freedom. I hate the the the, uh, uh, the way women, um, they can't understand how your body isn't to be used as an object for money. And but because of the wicked, the, the, the lustful man, we the ones who lead the world And so they putting it out there Because they already know You can trick a woman by word And so y'all not helping them Y'all niggas is the enemy Just as well as They walking in it Man, man, y'all words Because y'all the leaders Y'all words We supposed to be leading We supposed to be leading And we can't Why? Cause, cause, because don't nobody want to submit to God All these evil people out here You want to keep watching All of these little Dirk And all these little Vons And all these right away All that music Man, they so they so they sold that, which is their mind. Man, whatever them people tell them to put out, they got to put out. Whatever they tell them to do, they got to do. If they telling them, boy, young thug, them come from the hood, right? What niggas y'all know from the hood is sacrificing goats? Which one of y'all in the hood is sacrificing goats? And what purpose are you sacrificing goats? And they caught them, and y'all don't care because y'all are already manipulated by their system. You are in the rope. Many people can't get out of it because they won't go to Jesus. And so then when they won't go to Jesus because these people got their hearts and their souls, they have stole your heart and your souls with charm. Man, these people ain't doing that. No, nah, you just love them more than you love God because they are in your heart and not God. Idols is in your heart. That's why you let you dance more to that. Than, you dance more to evil. You dance to your death more than you dance to spiritual music. That's life. We sin while listening to sin. People listen to sinful songs while engaging into fornication. Double the dead. <laughs> Double the dead. And I'm glad. I'm blessed from the Lord my God that I am no longer dead in my trespasses. I'm blessed that I'm no longer. And every single day, right, because it's a work. I'm blessed that every single day that I wake up and I have the knowledge to pray. And I have the will from Jesus to pray, to ask God to, uh, to have favor on my life that I may be able to touch. I'm just blessed to be able to have reverence of the Lord our God sincerely. I'm blessed to be able to. When I pray, I say, sometimes I say, Lord, I just thank you for my heart. For real, Lord. 
Because there's many people that don't even really got a real heart for you. Anyways, I'm about to leave. I was just a lot going on, man. (laughs) Maybe a lot going on. There's so many lukewarm. So many lukewarm. I believe. And they so good at reciting the scriptures and telling you what they mean. (laughs) Okay, cool. Let's do the test now. You know what the scripture mean. You can recite it. Well, the, te- the scriptures is for when these tests pop up in your life for you to engage with it. So then when the test come, people keep failing. People keep, yeah, because this ain't a test in school. You're going to have to actually put that to work. And it ain't going to be on no paper. You're going to have to use that in real life. With the work, with the, with, with the school work, you can put it on the paper and it'd be A. Well, with God work, you can put it on the paper and it'd be an A. But can you actually engage with it? Do you really know it enough that you can engage with my spiritual laws? It is what it is, though. Two-thirds going to perish regardless. Two-thirds going to perish regardless, man. God, I don't want no vain glory. Let this video touch whom all it need to touch. The flesh is just always worried about stuff. Like, I don't want to be worried about with the flesh, bro. I don't care. Is this body right here? This body right here, when you're doing the will of the Lord, every time you try to do good, evil is present with you, bro. Every time you want to do good, I, I'm going to do the will of the Lord. And he like, man, I wonder how many people going to see the video. Bro, I don't care how many people going to see this video. That's, look, you see how evil the body is? That's why God said, walk in the spirit and ye will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. Because he going to keep talking. Their heart going to keep talking. He going to want to keep talking. Yeah, I'm going to post this on the tube right after. That's what I just like to do. Uh, I'm going to start doing that even more after I found out how to do it. But, yeah, I'm about to get off of, get up off it, man. I love y'all, bro. Jesus love us more. I'm just hoping that, man, by this, somebody can move. Go and do the will of that. Go and do the will today. Jesus woke you up today to try today. Let's try today, bro. Let's actually try, right, to walk in faith, not to walk in fear. Women, please, 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 guide y'all hearts. Right. And I really want to say this to the women because, man, y'all are so precious and y'all carry much virtue to a man of God. And the enemy is working on y'all quicker than anything, because the way we die is through y'all. So, women, please go to your, uh, go to the father and we got to pray for the women. Pray for him, 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 because they got great faith. And if we could just get them to give, get faith. Get faith, get faith, get faith. For everyone that we save, it, 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 it's just a blessing for the many that we lost, right? We just want to save as many as we can. And I, and it's just on my heart because I know how easy it is for women to be tricked by emotions. Jesus love you. Lies of this world are lies to evoke your emotions. Whenever you start to feel your heart being played with women, go to God, amen. Please go to the Lord, our God. God loves you, and he do not want your heart to be played with by somebody that don't care about your soul. They only want your body. You are more than your body. You are more than what you look like. God said that man look on the outer, but he judges the reins of a heart because your heart is who you are. And your heart is beautiful if you love Jesus and want to submit to his ways. Right. We all got things of the body that we don't like. That's for God to clean that up. That's for God to come and show you through all your infirmities. I love you through all of the things that the world deny you for. I lift you up in my heavens and I set you in heavenly places for those things that the world look at you and they mock you for. I chose you for this. This is what he chose you for. Many of y'all have been chose to go through hardships to still believe because many people went through hardships. But guess what? They didn't believe. So one of them believed and one of them didn't. One of them going to have eternal life and uh, the next going to have look should have did what they did. And then we going to have look. You see what you did? This is what is getting you eternal life and peace where you can't even fathom the peace that God got for us. You can't even fathom the animals. We can't fathom the, uh, 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 the bodies we going to be in. We can't fathom nothing about the world to come because this world, it looks good and we think that this is it. It's not it. The world that God got coming next is greater than this. If this world is leading people to hell and the world that is coming after is eternal, how greater, how much more greater, how much more better, how much more pleasing to the eyesight, how much more greater is the taste of food and you ain't even going to be hungry. You don't even go hungry. Why? You can eat whatever you want. The body don't even get hungry. You're going to be eating just to eat something that tastes good. You can't even imagine that. I can't even imagine that because I don't even like food. I only eat so that I won't feel like I'm dying. Nothing in this world do I care for. So it's even more a strain on my mind. Like, why I'm here? Everything vanity. Everything vanity. Everything vanity. Everything vanity, bro. For real, can't wait to chop it up for eternity. Can't wait to just be, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie, eternity be kind of scaring a nigga sometimes. Excuse me for y'all who, I'm trying to refrain from saying that word. 
because I know a lot of people profess that they don't like the word, the N-word, even though I know it means king. We don't line the tribe of Judah. We king. So hopefully y'all go see that. And if not, it ain't in the Bible. So it ain't like it ain't nothing that I could re retract from. So, hey, if it ain't in the word of God, then it ain't in the word of God. So I really don't care about it. But God did say we would be called a byword. Never, nevertheless, I don't know if it's a curse word, even though all things that they did say to us is for curses. But pray for y'all, brother. Anyways, man. Uh, yeah, man. Let's pray for the women. Let's actually walk in faith. There's a lot of people that got so-called wisdom, but they don't got no understanding. Because God said, oh, wisdom, knowledge of the word, but understanding. From do that, say. But yeah, man. Anyways, man. I'm about to get off here. I love y'all, man. Um. Let's stay in prayer. Let's stay in the faith. The faith is the word of God. And also in doing the will of God, letting our good works shine before man. We're not saved by good works. Your good works show that you believe. I do works of the Lord because it's in my heart and I love the people. Right. I do good works of the Lord because it's in my heart. But what was that smell? But anyways, man. Um. Uh, glory to y'all, man. Glory to y'all, glory to y'all, glory to y'all, glory to y'all. All right, though, man, I'm about to go. Man, you supposed to pray at like four in the morning, start your day off. Like that ninth hour, well, I don't know where your ninth hour is or whatnot, but that morning, the disciples were able to uh, pray in that ninth hour of the day, and that's like early morning, and you also saw Jesus himself, you know, leaping out to go and pray when other people, uh, you know, when they were asleep. Or whatnot. But yeah, I'll say a prayer real quick, man. I'm just working through some, um, you know, working through some you did. Yeah, it's four in the morning, my time. But normally it was it was three and then time change. Well, we had, time don't even change here. It's just when I read in the word and I saw how Peter, man, why does it smell like that? Like a sewer opened up. Man, let me pray real quick. I got to go. <laughs> in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, one, we thank you. For, for giving us the heart to reverence the only thing good, the only thing true the only thing merciful and compassion compassionate, Father God you are bountiful and I pray you give where it me, where it's me I pray that everybody that watches this video, Lord God understand how much you love them and understand how much that we, that how much that you've given, Father God, that we wouldn't be robbing ourselves to give up the things of this world you wasn't robbing yourself to give up on eternal riches, on riches that fail not to come here to make yourself a living sacrifice for us and so it shouldn't be too much for us to make ourselves a living sacrifice in a world where it's already dying, Lord, but only with your will which is the mind, the mind that is in you as it is written in the word of God. Let this mind, which is in Christ Jesus, be also in you. If your will was in us, Father God, if you would give us grace to understand our will, Father God, then should we turn away our foot from evil. If you would let somebody here today, Father God, uh, uh, let the Holy Spirit, let compassion and let love, Father God, fall upon their souls. Father God, let them repent, come into a heart of repentance by something that I say today, Lord Jesus, will they be able to see the riches in you and be able to continue on and seeking the riches in you, continue on seeking to put off the flesh and to walk in the newness of man let every woman that hear this father god understand that how much more valuable they are than the assets that they are of the flesh and let every man father god know how much more that they need to be used by you to reign i'm uh, not just to reign but to be a leader in righteousness father god i'm just asking that you would just from the heavens lord from the heavens you said the earth is, 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 is the heavens is your throne and the earth is your footstool you use the enemy as your footstool lord jesus and so use him now let all the hurt, let all the pain, let all the confusion, let all the lowly days be working together, Lord Jesus, that we might be able to see you and see that the world don't have no love for us. They don't have no mercy for us, that there's no uh, 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 an uh, actual affection, but all inordinate. The things that you did not ordain, that's the world. It's inordinate affection, Lord Jesus, not the affection that you desired that we'd have, Father God, but the, the, the affections of the dead body, Lord. That's why that you said that every man must be reborn, Lord. I pray that the men and the women that are watching this, Lord Jesus, that we seek to be reborn born um as it was written in the word of god you said be not conformed and be ye not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind lord jesus by your word our mind is renewed lord jesus i just pray that somebody can be able today start to get on a journey of righteousness start to get on the narrow road because many people go through the narrow for the narrow they go through this turmoil they go through torment for more torment but you said that us the saints those who live live in your presence lord jesus that we go through the narrow for the wide
We go through this straight and to get it all, Lord Jesus. You said the meek shall inherit the earth, Lord. And so we pray that we will continue to seek your meekness, seek your fruits of your Holy Spirit, Father God, that we not walk in the uh, flesh, walk in the fleshly emotions, walk in the fleshly desires, but have the contentment, have the spirit, self-control, self, -control, self uh, the temperance, Lord Jesus. We walk in your fruits. We will walk in your fruits, kindness, uh, um, joyful, being joy, faithful, just your word. Whenever the enemy and his tactics start to rise up in our minds, that we speak the word of life and truth, Father God, because that sword will fight. I pray, Father God, over all of the people that are watching right now, Lord Jesus, that you cover us. You said, put on the whole armor of the Lord. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Father, please let us be shod by the boots of your gospel in our minds. Let the loins of our mind be girt about with truth and the belt of truth, Father God, to make our belt and our, uh, our our suit perfection father god in the breastplate of righteousness lord god and let that mind that is which is in which is in christ jesus be also in us which is the helmet of salvation lord god which is the word and also the word lord god which you said that the weapons of our warfare is mighty through god through the pulling down of strong codes and through the casting down of imaginations and for every high thing that exalted itself above the knowledge of god bringing every thought captive to the obedience of christ last but not least father god because wherewithal without this it is uh, it's possible but Without it, it's impossible to please you, Father God. Let our faith, which is our belief in your word, which is our hope in your word, Father God, be present in this day. Be present in this day that we might fight the evils of this day. And like you said, think not for tomorrow. For the thing, he said, for the thoughts of tomorrow will, will take thought, will take care for themselves. But you said sufficient for the day is the evils there was. Let us pray in this day. Let us give in this day. Let us be charitable in this day, Father God, and let us love in you, love on you, love on your word, delight in the, the law of God, which is the spirit, not the laws of Moses, not the flesh. That's death, but the spirit of God, your commandments, where there's life and peace for the soul, Lord, where it's forgiveness, mercy, and truth. Over that, Father God, and in those things do we pray. You said, Father God, be careful of nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known unto god these are my requests this is my supplication and lord you know i thank you lord you know i am grateful lord you know i love you lord you know i am most humbled by you and by your by your presence in my life lord and i'm hoping by this prayer i'm hoping by whatever this right here lord that somebody can be able to just be drawn closer to your love just be drawn closer to your love that ain't present that we know not that our moms and our dads know not that sex don't know money don't know nothing about this love the carnal man don't know nothing about this love. You said the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God. Neither can he receive them. Neither can he know them because those things are spiritually discerned. So, God, we love you. I love you. And I just pray for the broken heart and the feeble minded who need you. In your mighty name, Christ Jesus, we honor and we praise. And last but not least, you said, Father, whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the father might be glorified in the son. You said, as it was written, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Lord, bring forth peace. Bring forth your truth. Bring forth your comfort of what you said that you would bring unto us if we tarry and wait in Jerusalem, which is your spirit spiritually. Tarry and wait in prayer. Tarry and wait in your word. Hallelujah, almighty God. Let your peace, Father God, that surpasseth all understanding, be present in those that seek you. In your name, Christ Jesus, we honor and pray. Amen. Ah. Uh. I just killed my shoulder, folk. But yeah, bro. Pray for y'all, brother, man. I ain't worried about that. Hey, I love y'all, man. Let's fight. Let's fight. Let's fight. Let's fight. Let's fight. Let's fight. You know, that's all we can do is fight. You know, um, if you just clicked on this, man, you know, share it if it helped you. Yeah, the enemy I had planned for. <laughs> I try. Look, I gotta go. But anyways, man, if it helped you, share the video. Uh, or, or if you feel led, share it. If not, y'all already know the Lord will gonna be done anyway. But I love y'all, man. Value Christ over your life, like literally. Christ is a spirit. Value that over your life. I don't know what that was. Probably fell from the tree. But yeah, glory to God, man. I'm gone.